Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. You know, the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. So what do we have? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, okay? Okay. This reading may or may not be for you. This reading is not sign-specific. It's a daily energy, okay? So what I would like the, you guys to do is put down when these readings resonate for you in the comments below. You know, sometimes it's the day that I do it. Sometimes it's the next day. Some days it's three or four days later. Okay, this is what this is a prediction of what is coming, okay? So if my uh, tribe could write underneath when these daily vibes tend to resonate with you so that the other newbies can see, get a, get a feel for how this works, I would really appreciate that. So what do we got? What do we have for the daily vibe today? Ooh, the King of Wands reversed. The King of Wands reversed is an energy of egotistical somebody that is egotistical this person is unreasonable uh entitled uh upset mean uh this person may be angry somebody may be angry um very upset by the looks of things not happy not happy that something hasn't gotten off the ground there's a lack of ambition maybe maybe having a lot of pride here could be dealing with a fire sign doesn't have to be this is aries leo sagittarius but we all take on these energies whoever this person is this person is upset they are probably pissed off um but it's to their own accord okay it's like they're not happy with something uh not going their way it's like it didn't go their way so they're upset um Ooh, four of pentacles reversed. Maybe losing money. Now, this could be a boss. This could be a, a business owner or anybody that it's like a, there's a loss of money or a loss of income or something didn't come to fruition, right? They, they, something didn't get off the ground. It failed to launch, you know, and now they're not getting the money that they thought they were going to get or something like that. Somebody's not paying them. They're not getting the money. loss of money Whew. we definitely could be dealing with an Aries doesn't have to be or a business owner a father a boss somebody that is in a lead position this guy likes to be in the lead he's very dominant he likes to be in control and this is feeling out of control this is feeling out of control this guy usually takes action though he has a plan he comes up with a plan and he follows through so somebody could be opening up as well sharing giving but this is upset. We could have two men here or it could be one. But we have somebody here that is um, they may be giving to somebody else, put it that way. Now this is a business owner. This is somebody who is very wise, intelligent, strong, This guy is a fighter. He is a fighter. Mm. Unblocked. Opening up. Somebody is about to open up. We could have a masculine. This is a very masculine energy. A masculine that is about to open up. They've been blocking their emotions. They've been... Uh, maybe they, they let their ego and their pride get in the way of something. Because this is very egotistical. So we definitely have a masculine that is about to open up. He's about to open up his feelings. He's been blocking his feelings, blocking his emotions. Um, but now he sees something. It's like the mask is off. He sees the truth or something. He's coming out of denial. He's ready to open up with these two guys. Seriously, we have a masculine that is going to open up. He's probably going to give something that he hasn't been able to give in the past. Hmm. he's going to take charge of a situation because that's what the emperor does he's battle ready he's ready to fight he is ready to fight and, and, and this, this involves you know opening up and giving something so he's going to give something ooh to the high priestess he's going to open up to this high priestess this high priestess has sensed it coming she has she knows she's got the key she's part of the script she has the script she's very intuitive so the high priestess sits back and waits. She keeps to herself. 
she manifests, she works on her spirituality, she's very um, intuitive, she has a divine connection, she uh, stays silent, and she waits, she waits, she knows it's coming, and it is, it is coming, so this is a healer, this is intuitive, this is a tarot reader, or a medium, or a psychic, She's very receptive. She spends a lot of time alone. Very self-sufficient. This person may be a counselor. So we do have a masculine that is about to open up to this person. She's been waiting. She waits. She waits in silence. She doesn't... She's very self-sufficient, okay? She's, she doesn't need anybody. She's comfortable. She's reflective. She's been waiting. Oh, tower reversed. So the tower reversed is... You never saw it coming. You never saw it coming. Now, the thing is, is she sees things. She knows things. Maybe she knows that this emperor has, or this masculine has been uh, in some sort of fault situation because this is a false sense of security. Maybe she knows that it's going to crumble. She sensed it. Maybe she predicted it. This is, this is a crumble. Something is crumbling or has crumbled. Maybe she predicted that it was going to crumble. Now, the tower reverse is a permanent loss of some sort. Something could be falling down, falling apart. Hmm. This is wish fulfillment. This is what I want. So this emperor knows what he wants. He knows what he wants. But he has been involved in a false sense of security. He has invo been involved with something that was false. But it's crumbling or it has crumbled already. And he may be pissed off because it's a permanent loss. He may see it as a permanent loss. Because the tower reverse is a permanent loss in my book. But he's about to take action. He probably figures, you know, I can rebuild this. This is what I want. This is an opportunity to have it all with this high priestess. I, and you see, there's a false insecurity with somebody that didn't take care of him, didn't love him. This would be a, like a false soulmate. So this guy has made a poor decision and he's probably angry and upset. He's probably lost something that made him extremely happy. Now he feels guilty. Now he feels extremely guilty. He does. He feels guilty and he's pissed. So we do have a masculine that is probably pissed. He is pissed. But he's going to take action because the emperor is given to take action. Even though he feels, he probably feels like it's a permanent loss. But he also sees this as being a dream come true. Because this is about dreams and this is a dream come This is what I want. Uh, this is what I want. But this egotistical individual didn't value her. She didn't know her value or, or see other person. The Empress in Reverse is a person. It could be a mother, could be a wife, could be a girlfriend, could be... And this is a, this is a feminine that didn't take care of him, didn't love him, didn't have anything to offer. And now this guy is giving deep thought, giving deep, because Nine of Swords is giving deep, deep thought to the relationship. Realizing, I think that this guy is realizing that he made a poor decision to engage with this one, whoever this one was. Feeling extremely bad, feeling guilty. So we do have a masculine that is feeling really guilty. 
But anyhow, um, this empress that he has been dealing with may have been a mother of his child or his mother or whoever she was, uh, has weighed him down. Definitely has weighed him down, has uh, caused him a lot of grief. Um, extremely exhausted. We have extremely exhausted here, but this guy knows what he wants now. He does know what he wants, and he's about to open up. Been going back and forth, really, really, really struggling. So we do have somebody here that has been struggling. Struggling with letting go, struggling with uh, making a choice. But wants a reunion. Wants a reunion with somebody. Wants to have fun. Wants to um, be accepted. There's going to be some sort of reunion here or something like that. We do have uh, a lack of courage. Somebody may have acted in a cowardly manner. Lack of integrity. We have somebody here that could not restrain themselves. They wanted to have it all. They probably wanted to have their cake and ate it, eat it too. And they made a poor decision. Oh, it could be dealing with a queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles in reverse has nothing to offer. She's not offering anything. She's very stubborn. She's jealous. She's possessive. She's not going to give anything. Nothing. So it looks as though we have a masculine that is wishing that he could reunite. Because masculine wishing reunite with somebody that doesn't have anything left to offer. He was a coward. He was uh, more interested in social society. He was more interested in his money, in his job. He had a hard time uh, being honest. I feel like this person who he was dealing with was very intuitive. She was, uh, you know, she could sense what was going on. He got himself involved with somebody who didn't love him. And now that has crumbled or it's falling apart. And he is feeling guilty, he's feeling stressed, he's feeling exa extremely uh, exhausted. Um, probably pissed off. But he wants this relationship. He wants a relationship. He wants to, I feel like he wants to, he wants to fix it. So there's an opportunity for happiness here. There's an opportunity to... Uh, build up a, a new foundation to to fix it to have happily ever after I feel as though we have a masculine that is about to take action okay he's about to open up he's been blocking his emotions he may have even been blocked like blocked on Facebook or you blocked him he blocked you whatever there's been some sort of blocking going on with the two of swords underneath there but this blocking also blocked his happiness I mean it blocked his wish fulfillment and it's like now he knows now he sees what he wants he got himself involved in a false sense of security he was he had to make a choice between two I feel like now that something has crumbled he, he, that uh, he's gonna find his strength uh, to fight because the emperor is a fighter to fight for what he is looking at and he's looking he is definitely looking he is definitely interested um, he was a coward in the past and I feel like he is going to take action he's going to say something um, and you never saw it coming um, he wants to have a relationship and he probably um, is ready to deal with it he's ready to deal with the with the um, it feels like questioning that he is going to get. Um, be prepared. Be prepared for the masculine to face his fears by the looks of things. I think he's going to face his fears because he wants this relationship. He wants the relationship. He does. He does. Good luck.